everyone. Hope you guys are having a great day today. My name is Shiv, and welcome back to the series where we study for front-end engineering interview questions. Today, we're asked to build an asynchronous request queue in JavaScript. This is a popular question asked by Google. So we're tasked with implementing an asynchronous request queue in JavaScript. The goal is to ensure that the requests are executed in, in the order they enter the queue, with each subsequent request waiting until the previous one is completed. Your task is to create a function called request queue that takes an array of requests as an input and returns the results of requests in the order they were executed. So for instance, if we were received this input of requests, we would expect the output to be result of the first request, then the result of the second, and then finally the result of the third. By the way, this is frontendlead.com. This is a platform that I've created that aggregates over 40 plus front-end engineering interview questions asked by top tech companies. So if you're interested in studying front-end engineering interviews, check out frontendly.com. Now let's get to the solution. So let's build a function. So we'll build an async function. We'll say async function. And let's call this request queue, which takes in a list of uh, requests. So let's just call it requests as our argument. And in here, what we want to do is we want to uh, create a queue. So we'll say const queue, which is equal to dot, 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 requests. So we're going to use the spread operator and grab all the requests. And then we're also going to create a variable, variable called results, which is an empty list. Now we're going to use uh, depth first search here. And what we'll say is while queue.length. So while there's length in the queue, uh, what we'll say is we'll grab the current queue value. So we'll say const current, which is queue.shift. So now that we have the current value, we want to do a try catch statement. We'll say try. And we'll get our result here. So we'll say const result equals to await current, just like so. And once we get our result, we'll just push it to our results. So we'll say results.push result. And if any reason there's an error, we'll just grab the error. And we'll just throw a new error. We'll say throw new error, error. Finally, we just want to return the results. And that's pretty much it. This is how you implement a request queue in JavaScript. If you found this video helpful, consider pressing the like button below and subscribing. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks.